In this no-code tutorial video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how easy it is to use the Toddle page editor, page builder. Um, Toddle.dev is a fantastic website and web app creation platform. They boast on their page here, build the next Airbnb, YouTube or Slack without a single line of code. And in this video, I'm going to be focusing on just how easy it is that if you are someone who is familiar with Figma, how easy it is to take a Figma design and build it uh, in Toddle. Uh, so let me go back into Toddle. Here we go. Um, first thing to notice with Toddle, once you load into a project and you load into a page, my page here is called Design Demo, uh, is that Toddle, uh, unlike other page builders that I've used, such as Oxygen uh, for WordPress, uh, even Elementor for WordPress or, or Webflow, is that um, the responsive engine goes the opposite way around. Toddle is built for mobile first. So I'm going to demo building a mobile design and so I'm going to go in into the mobile uh, view on the editor. Uh, and you can see that all I've got to start with is a div. Uh, so I'm going to add in uh, a main section for my page uh, as I'm going to be building up this design here. Now the design here is part of a UI kit called uh, Untitled UI. It's fantastic. I've built a ton of projects uh, using it. Uh, we'll include a link uh, for you to find out more about that in the description. Um, but yeah, let's just dive right in uh, and I can show you how to use this right hand panel here of the styling. Uh, to start to build in your elements. Uh, so let's add in, uh, let's add in that logo. Um, and in fact, I'm gonna start right away with this section here. So we're gonna add in uh, a header and that will be our H1. Uh, and that's gonna say, I'm gonna do roughly what's in the Figma design. I'll say simple uh, uh, business. I'm gonna say simple business cards. Uh, and uh, then I'm going to add in a, an H2 below that. Ah, uh, oh, I've not done it below. See, right, I've accidentally nested it. So I'm going to drag it up and then swap them around. There we go. So then the H2, I'll say uh, no money, no problems. Uh, this is a cool UI kit and toddle demo. Okay, let's begin to add a, a little bit more styling here. So for starters, uh, our, our div here, I'm gonna change the background color. So I can just scroll down here and go into background and change it to a white. Uh, and I'm also then going to go into main because we've got some padding around here and I'm going to go into Figma and check that it's 15. I'm doing that by basically hovering over the element and pressing the option key on Mac, alt key on Windows, I suspect. Uh, and I can see that it's a 16 pixel um, padding down the side. Uh, so on main, I'm going to go up and uh, here we go. 16 pixels, bam, done. Uh, right then, let's do the color. So in Figma, um, if I swap modes here, where can I find the color? Oh, it's a variable. There it is. So I'm going to copy the color hex code, um, and uh, in here, paste it in, hit enter, and I'm going to check that this one is probably it's a different color. It's a slight gray. So. Copy the hex code, paste it in, don't forget the hash. Okay, and while I'm styling this one, let's look at the other bit. So it's uh, inter 18 400. Uh, so the weight is 400. Uh, and then uh, the font size, uh, oh, no, font is inherited. We'll come back to that, I think. Um, where's font size? There we go. All right, so the font size is currently express, expressed in um, REM. Uh, we're just gonna hard code in a value of 18 pixels so that it's closer to the design I'm working with here. Um, let's also update this H1. Uh, so this would be 636. So we'll say uh, 36 pixels and weight of 600. 
Uh, now we have a bit of spacing in between. Let's try and get that value out. That is also 16. Uh, so I'm going to wrap these inside of a div so that I can use the gap. Now I could add a margin or a padding, um, but I quite like to use gap. I'm really into using the gap at the moment. So we'll wrap that in a div. Drag this in also. Well, I've put that in too far down. Yeah, that's what I wanted. And now I can add in my gap here of 16. Um, perfect. Uh, and then let's add in some buttons. Uh, so I'm going to add these into main. Uh, go for button. Uh, and so our first button will be uh, sign up. And uh, let's do a little bit few changes here so the font weight is going to be 600 and uh, the background color we're going to go for this nice purple you may recognize it from our website ah that's the font color whoops so this, this should actually be white oh I need to put the hex in just drag it. There we go. Uh, background color is what I meant to click on. There we go. Uh, also, the border around this at the moment it's a variable, but I'm just going to copy eight pixels. Is what Figma is telling me. Perfect. Uh, and then let's just try and adjust the size. So the width we will say 100%. Uh, and um, where can we add in a bit of spacing around it? Okay, this is also set to variable. Uh, so it's 18 on the sides, 12 on the top. So we'll go uh, 12 here and then 18 pixels there. Perfect. Um, I'm going to put this into another div uh, just so that I've, I've got all of this hero section in a div. Um, so let's wrap this in another div uh, and then put our button just like that. Okay, uh, now I'm going to add in a bit of uh, space above it. So I'm going to do that by once more using gap um, here. Uh, so what should we add? We should have 32. Okay, and now let's preview our design. Okay, and there's our preview. And yes, I appreciate there is some way to go with getting this looking exactly like Figma, but I'm keeping an eye on the timestamp on this video and I want to keep it nice and quick. I basically just want to give an example, a demo of how easy it is to work with Toddle and Figma and how quickly a Figma design can come together uh, in toddle.dev using their amazing no-code page builder and web app designer.